Yeah, when she came out, she just got jumped out of her own faction, and she's like, and then they were making fun of me behind my back. Uh, I mean, that's not right. And Dakota, where do you stand at all this? I oh, mean, what, what is what is that? It's I mean, just, what is that? Maybe Bailey deserves a setup from Dakota. Maybe, maybe de- it deserves to be jumped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I, I know. Listen, I admit I did a show on Friday, so I got a three-day head start on this. But for each and every one of you out there, whether you like us or you hate us, but you're tuning in anyway, and we appreciate that, you have to admit, we are the only fucking podcaster out there that didn't buy into the Rock Roman Reigns bait for the last 10 days. You called it 10 days ago that not only was it going to be nothing but a swerve, but you got all these people now, oh, they pivoted, they changed the story. Guys, here's a little insider tidbit that kev has gotten info that i have gotten info and this is something that should be common knowledge for a lot of people out there um wwe printed merchandise promotional items for venues for outlets all across stores cody rhodes versus roman reigns for wrestlemania 40 months ago months ago cm punk was not in the company four or five months ago so when people say oh the rock came in to save wrestlemania cm punk wasn't even there when wwe started sending out promotional items for roman versus cody wrestlemania 40 the only thing that has changed is with the brock you know controversy and him being off of it and with vince mcmahon and his controversy and putting rock on the board of directors they decided to incorporate rock to make it that much more i will absolutely admit that but for people to try to insist that it was going to be rock and roman reigns and they pivoted why do you think wwe started the we want cody campaign well over a week ago the night that cody said what he said on smackdown and listen kev I'll give you the floor. I'm getting a fucking aneurysm with these people. Oh, Cody, there's no excuse. He told Roman that he, he go fight him, but not at WrestleMania. Here's a couple of things, everyone. The Rock put a power play. Cody then changed his fucking mind because Rock started touting Cody crybabies. It's all right. manufactured. WWE sent out We Want Cody signs to the crowd on Raw last week before Rock ever called him a Cody crybaby. This was all manufactured to make people want Cody that much more. What do people not get? Oh, I need an explanation. Why did Cody say this? Well, maybe he fucking changed his mind. That's all it is. I mean, what does I need an explanation? I mean, that's, he did give so, an explanation tonight. He, did. he, he did. did. He said, "All of you, you spoke up. We want Cody trending. That's why he came out there and confronted Roman Reigns. Said, I choose you at WrestleMania.' Do, do, do we have very slow people out there? Everybody. Cody came out at the press conference." As a result of all of the love and appreciation and the we want Cody trending for 78 hours straight. So Cody said, you know what? You showed me so much love that you insisted I must be there. I decided I will be there. The Rock is a bad man. He is a good guy at times, but he is a very bad man right now. So I decided that I'm going to take everything away from Roman, including his bloodline family. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Everybody wants an explanation. Well, not everybody. I mean, everyone acts Most like people. they're spe- speaking for everybody. But that was it. He said, "You people spoke to me." That's it. Basically, changed his mind without saying that. You know, he said he conversed with Rock. He met with a bunch of people. Now, I guess they want the, him to say, DT, that a uh, Rock tried to con me into, a Rock tried to take my WrestleMania and manipulate me. I guess they want some little sinister side note story of Rock and Cody's get-together. What did they talk about when they met in that council? And what he said, I, I had council with The Rock. Yeah. So maybe maybe he will say that maybe on Friday when The Rock and Roman Reigns come out and they probably start goofing on Cody or whatever. Maybe, he'll make, maybe Cody will make an appearance and then uh, say, oh, this was, uh, you tried to manipulate me, whatever. But I, I, again, it's not any major thing. If that's what you're harping on, it's a very minuscule thing. It's nothing that 
you know, we're off and running here. I don't think you have to go backtrack now and pick pick apart everything that you find wrong and stuff. Yeah. It's just nitpicking for the sake of nitpicking. Enjoy this. It's going the way everybody wants it. And I said in the end, I think everybody's going to get what they want. Absolutely. And not only that, um, you know, we're we're it seems like everybody that's very, very outspoken about this are the ones that bought into Rock Roman Reigns' main event in WrestleMania 40. Yeah. If you really, really dissect it, you know, it's like you said last week, there's this weird thing that's been going on for years now that people can't just sometimes say, hey, you know what, WWE, you got me. You know, you fooled me. I really thought they were going to change it to Rock Roman. There was going to be Cody and Roman. No, instead is they pivoted. They need to give me an explanation. That doesn't make sense. In in other words, um, you were wrong, and you can't just accept that. Yeah, That's what it comes uh, down to. But well, we weren't wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. We weren't wrong. I know. It's just... Uh, again, and it's funny because when you say let it play out, that's like a, a, a terrible phrase now. Or that's like a uh, like a, a triggers people when you say it. it's like, I've I've tried to let things play out, and they've always fucked it up. I'm like, listen, this is a huge thing. There was no way I thought, and that's nothing to do with, you know, yeah, Vince being gone is a factor, of course, because Triple H is really calling the shots right now. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't think that they were going to get this wrong. I had faith that they were going to. You know, turn it around. If you want to say they pivoted, if you want to say this was the plan all along, whatever the case may be, they were going to get this right, and they, and they did. I, the only thing I kind of question is Seth. As yeah, as we could segue to that. That is a very good thing because look, I see. I'm going to show everyone that I could be the better man and admit where I could be wrong. Several of you over the last week have said to me, DT. Do you think they would consider doing a tag team match for night one of WrestleMania 40? Yeah. And I said, you know, that's not fair for, for Seth. You know, to have, you know, Roman and Cody on two nights, you know, it's kind of a little bit unfair. It takes a little bit away from Seth. And, you know, then we had the press conference and on the surface, people were like, hey, you know, they're kind of like making Seth look like a, an absolute fool in this. But now on Raw tonight, when Cody you know comes out there to talk more about WrestleMania, Seth comes out and says, "You know, you don't have to do this alone. Um, I'll be your shield." Pun intended. Who knows Roman better than Seth? Yeah. And now you know I'm starting to think, and I just put the banner on the in the, the Discord chat. I think a lot of you are on point. We could very well end up with Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns and The Rock for the main event of night one of WrestleMania 40. And yeah. night two, you will have Seth Rollins wrestle once again against the winner of the Elimination Chamber, which could be Drew McIntyre. And you will have Roman Reigns I'm mean, taking on Cody Rhodes. Yeah, I and I think that could very well happen because, look, The Rock only has to wrestle once, and he's the one we're worried about the most. Um, you know, a lot of people still haven't caught on to it, but Seth Rollins did an interview uh, over the weekend with on the Rich Eisen show. And, you know, this interview actually is about a week old already, but he revealed that he's going to be good 100% pretty much in about three to four weeks, which now realistically is about two to three weeks. And we have Elimination Chamber in 10 days. So Seth Rollins, as we've been telling everyone when he first had the tear, his injury was only going to be about four to six weeks fully healed. Barring a setback, he does not need surgery after all of this. So yeah. Seth will be 100%. If he has a tag match the night before, it doesn't have to do all that much. He could absolutely have a match the next night, and Roman Reigns, obviously, and Cody, you know, could, could do it. Cody wrestled on the house show uh, yesterday or the day before, and he's wrestling a dark match tonight, I believe. Yeah. So now I ask you this. When they did the video at the press conference talking about WrestleMania 40 years, where it came from, they really went out of their way 
to remind us the main event of WrestleMania 1, which was Roddy Piper and Paul Orndorff versus Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. Could this be a tribute to the 40th anniversary of WrestleMania, and that's why we're going to get a tag match as the main event of night one of WrestleMania 40? Do you think they could do that? Yeah, I think it could be something like that. I mean, WWE loves to do that kind of tribute to nostalgia, a little nod to nostalgia. So I, I can Im- imagine that. And I thought all along, to be honest with you, because people were talking about having a tag match in Perth, but that would have been announced by now if they were going to do that. And that Seth's not going to be ready. They don't want to risk him getting hurt in Australia. So, yeah, I think night one is going to be a, a tag. And I think Seth and Roman are going to do double duty night one and two. And those two guys, maybe in a way they should. I mean, they're the two faces. I mean, Roman, a much bigger face uh, of the company. And they can, they, both of them can clock in two nights. It's not going to kill them. I, don't, I, think it's, I don't know if it's not fair to Seth. I think, if anything, Seth wants to. He prides himself, oh, yeah. on, being, he prides himself on being the workhorse. And I think Reigns has something to prove, too, saying, hey, fuck, fuckers, I fucking worked two nights in a row, WrestleMania. So, you know, you know so fuck you with the, my schedule. He's uh, micromanaging my schedule. So I think both of them can do it. Uh, it's not a big deal. I don't think the tag is gonna tag match is gonna be some elongated match. No. I think the next night, whoever he takes on, whether it's Drew or whoever, Damian Priest, whoever it's gonna be for Seth, you know, they'll put in the match they need to. And I think Reigns and Cody will probably wind up doing at least a half hour, maybe if not more. I mean, I, I think it's going to be fine. I think Seth and Reigns wrestling on uh, two nights in a row is going to be fine. Yeah, absolutely. And look, since Rock is obviously on the board of directors now, there's no reason why The Rock cannot travel to Australia. So The Rock could end up making a cameo at Elimination Chamber. Uh, Roman Reigns could make the flight. I mean, he's not an invalid. You know, it's not like he can't go to Australia, but there's just no announced match.